Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Luisa and in today's video I'm going to do a very unique video in that I'm going to share with you a very personal story of where I've been over the last two months. I've not been on this platform even though I absolutely love this platform. I've had to take some time to heal and to um reconnect with myself and to just rebuild myself because of what happened to me and i'm sharing this because i believe that this happens to many women and we don't talk about it and so i feel and i know that in healing and sharing our stories and sharing things that happen to us on our journey being women is deeply healing when other women heal it hear it because you're able to see hey, I'm not alone that this is happening to other women and you just feel more connected and all those things. So that's why I'm sharing because I want to really to heal. That's my intention is to heal, that this video will find its way to all of the women that need to hear it and to know that you're not alone. So I used to have a dance studio in Brooklyn and one of the things that I love the most about it, not only was it just, you know, being able to dance with other women and have fun and belly dance and be, you know, have a safe space to just dance from our heart, but also because we, uh, once a month, we would have like these full moon gatherings and we would talk and we would share and we would, you know, manifest our dreams and talk about our desires and talk about, you know, everything about being a woman and we had women who were in their 70s and women who were in their 20s and everything in between and we would just share and there's something that is deeply and profoundly strengthening and healing when women connect in that way and when we share our stories and we share our experiences because it's not easy to be a woman on this planet this is such a male dominated planet and we're always taught all these like negative things about being a woman and everything is really, you know, quiet and kept on the wraps. So I'm, my intention is just to lift up the veil of what it is to be a woman and to share very openly so that you can be nurtured, that you can be healed, that you can feel a sense of um connection and not feel so isolated in your own experience in your own journey of being a woman and knowing that this is a this is a it's an ongoing very deeply connected experience that there's the since millennia women have been on this planet experiencing similar things that we go through now and just feeling that interconnectedness is very strengthening so that's my intention. And so I will share with you, yes. So the past two months, I have not been on the platform because I experienced my first and only pregnancy loss. To be honest, I wasn't trying to get pregnant, but I was, and then the, I lost the baby. So this was very deeply um, saddening and there was a lot of despair and there was a lot of um pain it's a very painful process and through my journey like i've been working with women for over a decade so i know how common this is if you're watching this video you've probably had one god forbid that you do um but if you haven't you know someone who has you know this is like a very common thing yet we don't talk about it. We don't talk about these things. And so I want to talk about it. And I have talked about it on my newsletter and I talk about it to every woman that, you know, is close to me because I think that we should talk about these things because they're, they happen. It is part of the journey. And so for me, I feel like our children, whether they're alive or they're in heaven, they are divine mirrors. They kind of like mirror back to you part of yourself. And sometimes we're not ready to see that. Sometimes we're not ready to see the truth of who we are. 
our children, they show us. And sometimes when they do show us, we can be deeply triggered by that too, because, you know, it's hard to see some of those things. In this experience, I feel like this baby came to show me the parts of me that were no longer supporting life, the life within myself. Even though I teach so much about the inner world and I teach so much about, you know, caring for your body and caring for yourself, my body, is she's high maintenance. <laughs> she's high quality, high maintenance, but she requires a lot because I have a lot of output. I'm doing a lot of things. And so there was a part of me that wasn't honoring the high maintenance of my body. And I wasn't doing the things that my body loves and she needs. And I wasn't prioritizing that, even though I teach it. I was just going into my default mode, which is go, 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 go and push and strive, that's my default. And I wasn't giving my body the rest and the out breath and all of the things that she requires, especially now because I'm in my 40s. So I, I feel like this baby came and came down and like held up a mirror to me to show me exactly what my internal world is to show me the truth and then went back to heaven and i had to really stick with that truth and i'm grateful to that baby every day the baby came to me in a dream i don't know if you've had that where you experience a pregnancy loss and then the baby comes to you in the dream to give you more messages but that happened to me, the baby came in a dream uh, weeks later and I got even more insight as to everything, everything. And so our children teach us, they are our greatest teachers and <clears throat> they also show us parts of ourselves that are not healed from our own childhood. They show us parts of us that need healing and it is important that we experience our children as our teachers because they are teaching us and then being willing to look at those lessons so that we can heal, so that we are not parenting from our wounds, that we are parenting from a very healed place and from a place of like humility, openness. Of course, don't take, you know, like don't be a little doormat, but um, being open to the, the the teachings and the wisdom that our babies bring to us. I know for my oldest, he's very loud. He's very boisterous about what he wants. He demands. He's like super determined. He's a Taurus, super determined and just, and you know, I used to have a problem with that. I was like, um, deeply like, it was challenging but for me what the message and what the 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 teaching was he was showing me the parts of me that were were silenced he was showing me the parts of me that silenced myself and silenced my own needs and silenced like just that part of me that needed to heal and so that's why it was bothering me so much, you know? So I look at that and I thank him. Um, and all of our children give us these, um, these, just these wisdom. My second born, he's Leo. And he awakened that part of me that showed me like, it's okay to take the spotlight. Because ever since I was pregnant with him, I've been in magazine, I was, getting so much modeling work. <laughs> the cameras is pointing on me and his energy showed me it's okay to to take the light, to to be in the light, to have cameras on you, to use your voice. And we just did a modeling campaign like about a month ago and he's he's gonna turn two soon. So that was, you know, just like that part of me that 
um, that really was hidden, you know, and he showed me it's okay to just be in the spotlight and take up space and be seen and it's okay to be seen and it's safe to be seen. His energy showed me that. And so all of our children just bring us wisdom. I think it's important to take the time to reflect on what you learn from your babies and the, even the ones that are in heaven, you know, they are great teachers and they are great, um, give us a lot of wisdom when we take the time to reflect. And so that's what I was doing. I was taking the time to heal so that I can come back here and come from a healed place of reflection and, um, and strength, inner strength, and just being in a place where I can share from my overflow and not from a depleted place of sadness. <laughs> I needed to take that time. And so now I'm back and I do feel like this new energy with me, um, this new like cloak of the divine feminine, just like holding me, guiding me. And that is definitely the spirit of this baby. I feel like, you know, even when I go to the playground, all these little girls are coming up to me now, like way more than before. And even one little girl came up to me and she called me mama and I just started crying. So yes, it's bittersweet and it's, you know, it is raw and it's deep and it's, you know, it's those things that just pull on your heartstring, but it helps you know that you're alive. And that is like the beauty of being a woman is that we have such a close relationship with an experience of the birth life and death cycle we are intertwined in it every month we experience the potential for life in our body and we watch the you know the shedding and the bleeding that is such a deeply connected part of the birth life death cycle you know and we live it every month if you are still bleeding, you know about this. And so I just, I think it's an honor to be born a woman. And the more that we share these things, the more that we share these experiences and know that we are not alone, that there's nothing wrong with us, and that, you know, this can be really beautiful. The more that we nurture ourselves and, and create community, I think that is major key to like thriving as a woman is to have community and to know that you're not alone and to know that these experiences maybe bring you despair and sadness but there's always like that rebirth moment and you know it doesn't rain forever <laughs> the sun comes out eventually and so the more that we share I think the easier this journey gets and the lighter the load, the lighter it feels on your body. So I hope that you feel some um, healing in this. I hope that you feel some intention of hope and a warm hug from me and solidarity if you have experienced a pregnancy loss. I know every woman that I talk to has been like, oh yeah, I had four, I had three or my sister had, you know, it is a part of us. It's a part of our journey. And so solidarity to you if you have experienced this and sending you so much love and knowing that you're not alone and knowing that as deeply painful as it is, it is very common. It is very common among women. And the more that we speak about it, I think the better that we can come to understanding these things. And um, if you do know someone who maybe needs to hear these words, please send them this video and send them so much love from me. And I will see you soon and I will talk to you soon. Peace and love.